This reflective web media creation seeks to explore how digitization and convergence have shifted the way society interacts and values cinema and movies. The 1930s, referred to as the golden age of cinema, is where we begin. Firstly, let's play some background music on one of the most influential mediums for music and recordings. Here I am drawing you a telephone from this period as they're so old I couldn't find a real life prop. Ta-da! Telephones finally gave people the ability to communicate with others at long distances, like getting invited to the cinema for example. Particularly within this period, newspapers were an influential medium for the mass dissemination of news and current affairs. Even the schedule for the cinema was found here. Looks like I'm seeing The Wizard of Oz, but in about 5 hours time. Better look my best as this was a social occasion for the upper class members of society. Hey, two tickets please. 50 cents, my two tickets and my free drink tokens, thanks. The cinema screen was even revealed by large red velvet curtains as they had for theatrical arts throughout history. As the television hadn't yet become an influential medium for the in-home consumption of information and entertainment, the cinemas would play pre-news segments. Finally, moving images to match those that had been still in the newspapers. Particularly in the events leading up to the Second World War, they were just a part of the cinema experience than the movie itself. After almost an hour of news in some cinemas, the movie starts. The Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer production company was responsible for the production of The Wizard of Oz and its success as one of the most well-known movies of all time. Home after about four hours, let's head to 2017 and see what it's like to go to the movies now. So there's no need to call each other through our telephones as we can now instant message each other through our mobile devices and pretty much get an instant response. Instead of newspapers, the internet provides the majority of information, like the cinemas near me and their schedule. However, the inconvenience of times, movie listings and overall accessibility makes it more desirable to watch movies in home. Services like Netflix provide access to movies and television content on a cheap subscription base. Devices such as the one I'm typing on now and laptops are able to access this service anywhere with internet access. Here I've accessed Netflix using my laptop and I'm using a HDMI cable to connect it to my television. Now I can browse through hundreds of new and old movies to watch and even watch old favourites. Greater accessibility of content means more people can watch movies without having to put a tie on whilst eating your favourite cereal in bed. So where will cinema and movies shift to in 2030? Here's my prediction. Movies within your glasses. Am I right? Do you guys mind? I'm watching a movie over here. Like, yeah, just... Thanks. Thanks. Come on, that's a great idea.